Beautiful Science, we bring together some absolute classics of data visualization in the field of public health and show the impact that powerful images can have in transforming the ways we think about our health and that of our society. This competition is a celebration. It celebrates the commitment and enthusiasm of early career researchers to share scientific advances with an interested public audience. Science is something that is for everyone. It's not just to be shared with a small close community. And we are in the middle of a revolution which has been made possible by open access and electronic publications. We are absolutely delighted to be here in the British Library. This was recently declared to be the worst bit of data visualisation ever. If you're wondering what the chickens represent, nobody knows. There are one, two, three, four different rooms for you to actually get your hands on all these bits of science and exhibitions. That's Wikipedia being edited. Isn't that fantastic? I'll be doing backing maths on an overhead projector. Yes! yes. Live action maths is hard to beat. Here, what you see is the size relates to the population. So you're getting on this, not just geography, but the issue and the population size. Are you selling an opinion or are you presenting data? Ooh, interesting. I'm interested in, in the stories that are told. You can be an integral part of your risk communication. Thank you again, David Spiegelhalter and Sally Davis. Thanks very much. Thirty-six percent of our life will be spent asleep. Thirty-six percent, which means if you live to be ninety, then thirty-two years will have been spent asleep. By the influence of Saint Michael, he's begun his circadian cycle. <laughs> what I want to concentrate on is the positive side. What does sleep do that's actually good for you? Uh, it was, yeah, it's really good, really interesting. Yes, they're amazing, it's so good. 